Hello everyone, um, <clears throat> today I'm going to be showing you how to, uh, find and break the Santier, San, damn it, Santier Spear, I think, I don't fucking know, um, but instead of hitting a wall, which is going to make the durability go down a lot slower, um, <clears throat> what you're gonna need to do is just go around, kill a couple people, doesn't actually have to be two, and just use the R1 attack, double-handed, and, uh, it'll make it decay a lot faster for some reason. Um, if I go up, up to a wall, I'm gonna zoom in on the bar here, you can barely see it move at all, with four hits, but if I go over here to the bodies, I'm going to hit it once. You can actually tell that it's going down. I think it's at least three when you hit one body. Like, three durability. Um, but once I break this, I will show you where to get it. Let's see what durability I'm at. 24. So let's just do a test and hit one of them. 22. So it takes down two or three every time you hit. I'm kind of standing on a slope so I keep not even hitting the ground. There we go. And now the uh, mouth that it was stuck on. Well, the mouth is still there. But, uh,. Now the big uh, rocks stuck off of it, and it becomes a mix in between a lot of classes of weapons. The main thing people like it for is the twin blade moves that it gets. But uh, this weapon's like all around amazing. Uh, takes Twinkling Titanite to upgrade. Uh, it starts at 233 damage, which is not bad, but it doesn't have any scaling. I unequipped it. It will not repair if you rest at a bonfire. Uh, I don't think you can repair it at all. And I don't think it can ever break. 